This time, we're going to travel the Natchez Trace Parkway. We took our trip along the Natchez Trace Parkway in October of 2015. Due to a broken ankle, my time was spent in a wheelchair when I got out of the vehicle. The Natchez Trace Parkway, also known as the Old Natchez Trace, is a historic forest trail within the United States which extends roughly 440 miles that goes from Nashville, Tennessee to Natchez, Mississippi. It links the Cumberland, Tennessee, and Mississippi rivers. The trail was created and used by Native Americans for centuries and was later used by early European and American explorers, traders, and immigrants in the late 18th and early 19th centuries. European Americans founded inns, also known as stands, along the trace to serve food and lodging to travelers. As travel shifted to steamboats on the Mississippi and other rivers, most of these stands closed. Today, the path commemorated by the 444 mile Natchez Trace Parkway, which follows the approximate path of the trace, as well as the related Natchez Trace Trail. Parts of the original trail are still accessible and some segments are listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Native Americans used many early footpaths created by the foraging of bison, deer, and other large game that could break paths through the dense undergrowth. In the case of the trace, bison traveled north to find salt licks in the Nashville area. After Native Americans began to settle the land, they blazed the trail and improved it further until it became a relatively well-established path. Numerous indigenous settlements in Mississippi were established along the Natchez Trace. Among them were the 2,000-year-old Far Mounds of the Middle Woodland Period located near present-day Tupelo, Mississippi. Meriwether Lewis of the Lewis and Clark Expedition fame died while traveling on the trace. Then, serving as appointed governor of the Louisiana Territory, he was on his way to Washington, D.C. He stopped at Grinder's Stand for an overnight shelter in October of 1809. He was distraught over many issues, possibly affected by the use of opium. He was believed by many to have committed suicide there with a gun. Lewis was buried near the inn along the trace. In 1848, a Tennessee State Commission erected a monument at the site.
I know it's a little difficult at the time, but remember, camping and hiking is good for the mind, body, and soul. But don't just take my word for it. Get out here and experience it for yourself. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, click on that thumbs up button, leave a comment, and let me know what you thought. If you want to see more, click on that subscribe button and click on that little ding ding right there beside it and it will let you know the next time I post a video. So for now, thanks for watching and I hope to see you down the trail.